Welcome fellow fans of Clash of Clans. It is your host Galadon and you have shown up to a video that has been months and months in the making. That is right. We are going to start a brand new account. We are going to run it up as far as we can gem to max style, but, and this is where things change. The idea behind this account is different than anything else we have ever done. This is my main account. And yes, it has done pretty much everything that can be done in the game other than kill a couple thousand more scatter shots. Uh, rather than try to farm a bunch of scatter shots, let's do something else that is new and different. So first things first, a lot of people ask me, Galadon, how do you create a new Clash of Clans account on the same device? It is super easy right here in the settings. You just use Supercell ID. Now, switching between Supercell ID is different than actually creating one. So make sure you create one first and then you can click play without Supercell ID and that will send you to a brand new account, you know, back to the tutorial and you can run through the tutorial and then you will need to create a new email address and a new Supercell ID for this new account. And then once you've got them both saved on that device, you can easily switch between accounts. But okay, now that that is done, let's get into what's going to happen and what is the idea behind this account. So this account or one similar to it, the one we'll show you a little bit later in the episode began back in November of last year. The idea being, let's see just how far we can get with every single building and structure in the game, except for the town hall being level one. Now we have to buy packages in order to get around that. And of course, before we buy packages, you know, you know, we go to settings, we go to more settings, we scroll to the bottom, we type in Galadon because we want to help Galadon out. We know that he's a good guy and he works hard to make videos for us every day. So it doesn't cost us anything. He gets about 5% when we spend money in the game if we use his code, right? There you go. So we buy these packages and this way we get overfilled loot. And that is one of the ways, of course, that a Town Hall 2 can join a clan. But we're going way past Town Hall 2 today. We are. So we're going to make sure that we save this account. And like I said earlier, connect it to Supercell ID by going back, clicking on the disconnected button, and then you see all of my accounts. We get the opportunity at the very bottom to register now. So brand new Supercell ID right here. You'll need a fresh email address. Go through that whole thing of typing in the email, confirming the six digit number that gets sent to your email and voila, you will have an account that you can always switch to in just a split second. So. Now, we've done that, we're back at home, we've bought the scenery, this was the original account. Okay, so this is the account right here. It was originally started as Galadon Pass.0, the Gold Pass Clash account. But if you remember, that account, we decided to go ahead and start from Town Hall 6, just to avoid those first five Town Halls. So, this account sat dormant for quite a while, until I decided to pick it up back in November, and go ahead and just start gemming everything. So building all of the structures necessary at each new town hall, but we can't buy that pack because that pack had a level two air defense in it, right? The whole idea is this account is eventually going to be renamed Galadon level one. And let's see how far we can get with everything level one, heroes, troops, walls, defenses. And yes, this is the tricky part, storages. That is what we're going to try to find the workaround for. Here we are at Town Hall 4. We bought the Town Hall 4 pack, which luckily was just resources. And we go through, we make sure we have everything built, and then we upgrade to Town Hall 5. All right, voila, Town Hall 5. Here we go again. So as a Town Hall 5, we are going to finally rename ourselves. So we went ahead and did the name change and came up with Galadon Level 1. And again, that is the goal. Let's see how far we can get. Can this be a Town Hall 14 with all level one buildings? Well, not if you buy the Town Hall 5 pack and pick up a level two wizard tower. So rip, nope, not gonna do that. We fast forward through a bunch of this. And yes, I apologize if flashing blinking bothers you. You guys might wanna just skip the rest of the video because there is a lot of that going on. Although it's not the whole video. Okay, Town Hall 6. Now, a whole month passed by right here. That was November. Here we are in December. Okay, we come back, we're at Town Hall 6, and it's the Clashmas offers. Now, again, I hadn't really decided what we wanted to do with this account at this point, 
but I thought, well, let's continue the journey and see how far we can get. We had some really cool, really big packages back in December, and that helped out because obviously it's all about being able to overfill the storages. Without ever upgrading a gold storage, we're only going to gain a slightly large storage capacity because of the town hall itself each time we upgrade. Now, is anybody keeping track of how much I've spent? Uh, okay, I, I tell you guys what, I need your help. Let me know at the end of this video down in the comments how much I spent in total on this account. And yes, I will give out, I'll give out a few gold passes with $5 Amazon gift cards to people that can let me know exactly how much I spent. And uh, yes, you do need to stop by a Facebook live stream, but also let me know down in the comments if you can. I'm curious myself. I didn't really keep track this time. I know it's not going to be anywhere near the three or 400 we've spent in the past to gem to max as we went to Town Hall 13 from Town Hall 1 in one video in other episodes. But again, this is different. And this video spans the time of about three to four months in total. Okay, so here we go. Next town hall level, building the walls. And of course, trying to make an all pretty arrangement of walls. We'll figure out what to do with the extra walls later. All right, so we've done that. We're going to go ahead and go through and put down all of the required buildings all the way through town hall seven, the barbarian king. We don't have 10,000 dark elixir, but check this out. Look at the loot cart. What the, are you kidding me right now? 46,000 dark elixir, 4.6 million gold and elixir, which we can't take any of, but it does give us enough with a little old level one dark elixir storage to pick up my level one barbarian king. So it feels good to finally have that. And that's right. That means we are off to town hall eight momentarily, although we don't have any skins. Well, we'll come back and take a look at the skins later. It's not like this account's not going to be spending money, right? Oh, wait, okay. We do have other packages as well. The Lunar New Year packages were still up, and with those, we can continue to overfill the storages. But for now, let's go to Town Hall 8. There you can see the upgrade has begun. The upgrade has been completed, and now we are a Town Hall 8 with all level 1 buildings. Okay, so once again, we go through, we put everything down as quickly as possible, trying to get a nice design to the walls to make it look cool. And uh, yeah, so we want every other one on the interior row. Eventually, we'll get those filled up, put down all of the buildings until we can try to get to Town Hall 9. The easiest way to do this is just to attempt to upgrade to Town Hall 9, and each time it will remind you, hey, you got to put this up first. Now, we do have the Town Hall 8 pack, which is huge, and we are going to go down to settings, more settings, and type in Galadon again. And yes, that is two shout outs for use code Galadon in one video. I know you guys said it couldn't be done, but I just managed to do it. Okay, anyway, so we bought those packages and now we have overfilled the storages again. 20 million gold means that we can finish up whatever we needed to do and go to Town Hall 9. So here we are freeing up a builder, getting the upgrade begun and getting the upgrade completed. Again, gems, you know, it's, it's going to happen. We're going to spend the gems. And again, you guys can let me know how much did I spend in cash and how many gems did I spend to get this video done? I'm not even going to bother to calculate that stuff. I'm counting on you guys to come through in a pinch. Okay, so we put the Archer Queen down. Notice we did not buy the package because that would have given us a level five Archer Queen. We can't do that. Got everything built. Eventually, all of the individual structures are going to go down. And then once they are complete, you know, it's time to go to Town Hall 10. Okay, so there we go. A complete level one to out Town Hall 9. Time to go to 10, freeing up a builder, and hopefully crossing our fingers that there will be another really good Town Hall 10 pack that we can buy. But first, we almost forgot. Yes, okay, so because we put the Archer Queen down, the Town Hall 9 pack changed. Remember, it was trying to give us this discount on a level five Archer Queen. Since we didn't do that, then it gave us a second chance pack that it changes after you've ruined the chance to get the discount. So it offered us straight out resources. We definitely took those because that we can do without violating the whole level one thing. Now again, we luckily had about a day left on the Lunar New Year special and the Hog Mountain scenery. So we are racking up the sceneries at this point, but it's not what we're after. We're after the loot that just happens to come on the side. So that 2.5 million gold is going to come in handy. But 
is it going to be enough? Do you guys know what is coming? Can you see the bottleneck that is approaching? Okay, get ready as we are about to finish the Town Hall 10 upgrade and place this off to the side. Actually, we're going to go ahead and keep the village clean. We're going to clear all of the obstacles and no obstacles or decorations will remain in this space by the time we're done. Okay, Town Hall 9, done. Town Hall 10, here we go. Town Hall 10 and RIP all of those boosts, right? Oh man, we could have been raiding and using all those resource boosts, but no, we went straight and now we've got Town Hall 10. Time to put down the walls, time to put down the rest of the buildings as well. And of course, keeping with aesthetics, making the walls look all matchy-matchy on uh, all of the corners. Okay, Town Hall 10 pack. Well, wait a minute. This one is level one Expo and level one Inferno Tower. So rather than spending the massive amount of gold right here, this should help save us in those later upgrades as we approach Town Halls 11, 12, and hopefully eventually 13. So we bite the bullet, we drop another 999 using code Galadon, and we've got a level one Inferno Tower and a level one Expo to place. So that saves us, again, a lot of loot that we're probably going to need really soon. Okay, Inferno Tower, gonna find a spot for it here. I'm trying to keep the village kind of compact. Obviously haven't really done anything as far as a design for defense here yet. I don't know where we can go with that, but perhaps we'll copy like a major CWL champion one league base when we get to Town Hall 13. Okay, the Expo is down, the Inferno Tower is down. Now it's time to put all of the rest of the buildings down for Town Hall 10. We're gonna do that, and then it will be time to go to Town Hall 11. Okay, so there it is, a beautiful, slightly rushed, all level one, level one everything, Town Hall 10, goes to Town Hall 11 free the builder and let's just go ahead and use the book we had that book and oh speaking of books we're going to go ahead with the gold pass as well because the thought here is okay that we can't buy that town hall 11 pack because again the problem with the level three warden level two eagle so we fast forward through we put those things down and hopefully once we put down the eagle and or the warden the town hall 11 offer the town hall 11 pack will change and it will give us one that has a bunch of loot in it so that's exactly what we do, and that's exactly what happens. There it is, 11 million gold. That is music to my ears. That is precisely what we need. Although, yes, it's another 1999 using code Galadon. Okay, so we've done that. We've picked up those resources. This should help us just fly through Town Hall 11. Actually, I mean Town Hall 12, because we already have all of the required buildings in order to upgrade to Town Hall 12. So here we go. It is time to free up a builder and to start that upgrade to Town Hall 12 or, or finish it in just a moment. Now, this is again where I thought I would hold off and not do anything on the video for a while. So I decided to go ahead and stack shields. I bought 10 days worth of shields so that perhaps we could sit back and strategize and figure out. No, okay. A day later, I came back. I gemmed Town Hall 11 to Town Hall 12 because we still had quite a few gems left over. And here we go. So we've made it in one episode to Town Hall 12. And uh, yes, the Town Hall 12 pack, unfortunately, offers a level two Inferno Tower, which we are going to have to decline. But again, hopefully, once we put down the Inferno Tower on our own, the package offer will change and that will give us enough gold to do something else. But the problem was, how do we get that much gold? Because you'll notice that we're pretty much out right now. Okay, so yes, here it is. I talked about this earlier. We went and bought the gold pass using code Galadon, and that should help out, right? It's going to give us the discount on the buildings, but it's also going to give us the season bank. We went ahead and jammed the gold pass all the way to the end, hoping that at some point, what we could do is attack fill the season bank, and then at the end of the season, use that 25 million in gold to get upgrades done, right? Good thinking, right, Galadon? Okay, yes, that is a good thought, but unfortunately, not all things go to plan precisely, and uh, yeah, you'll see what I mean in a moment. Okay, so we've got those buildings placed. The Town Hall 12 pack is still here, so we need to get the workshop down. Now, once the workshop goes down, that's it. You can't buy that Town Hall 12 pack anymore. So we go back to the special offers and sure enough, we have a new and improved Town Hall 12 pack with 12 million gold. Gonna bite the bullet. Again, another 1999 goes down and we do have 
14 million in gold. I went ahead and filled my gold storages up to the 2 million max first using the loot cart so that I could stack it on top to give us a total of 14 million rather than 12. But here is where the issues arise, okay? Now, yes, of course, you have to upgrade your Giga Tesla as a Town Hall 12. So we had that going to level two. We've got to put down the rest of the bombs, traps, mines, and then we've got the final Inferno Tower to place as well. Does it feel like I've been talking a lot? Holy cow. Okay, let's go ahead and get to the point where we're gonna wrap this video up. Here's where we are. We have all level one stuff. We have a Town Hall 12 with a Giga Tesla going to level two. And we only have 4.7 million left in our overfilled gold storages. So the riddle becomes, how do we get to the point that our gold storages are so overfilled that we can upgrade to Town Hall 13? That is where we will continue in the next episode of Gem to Max Galadon Level 1. Let me know down in the comments if you predict, if you know where the issue is going to arise. Thank you, Galafam, for sticking around all the way to the end of the episode. If you get a chance, gently to press that like button, make it happy, because you are the true Galafam, and I love, think about, it, appreciate every single one of you every single day. So get out there, make the best of the rest of your day, be kind to the people. I'm on the planet. I'll see you back here again tomorrow with Attacks. Galadon! Galadon, now this is more my kind of epicenter. Jim to Max! Peter likes it!